hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is rachel today i'm going to be bringing you with me to my shopping trip at the home depot searching for plants and i actually went to two different locations but i lost the footage from the first location so this is the second location that i went to there were so many bulbs that were 50 percent off there were plants that I honestly have never seen before and let alone know that they had bulbs available in general for them. The hostas were very, very tempting. I've never grown a hosta from bulb. I think I want to give it a try. There were so many things to choose from. The ferns were fabulous. Then they had the strawberries and very beautiful, beautiful flowers. Now these pre-packed planters were so beautiful. The elephant ears and the caladiums, they were $19.99 regular price, so they were only going to be $10. So I thought that was an amazing find. They were so beautiful. This wall always gets me when I go into this store because I really want my house to look like this. It would be so beautiful. <laughs> Now for the most part, I really did believe that everything was pretty much the same as it has been for a little while now at this store, but when I was looking at the tightly packed shelves that they had, I noticed some white variegation and there was a white knight. And it would have been so easy for me to miss this because they were just, it was just in a sea of green. I was in shock when I saw it. I was so happy. They are so beautiful. And then once I saw the first one, I saw another and another, and they were just packed right in the middle of the, of the display. Oh, I was so happy when I found them. They're absolutely beautiful. So that was a fun shopping trip. And now I'm going to show you the things that I purchased. And I saw four plants that I really, really wanted. But being responsible, I didn't get all of them. I only purchased two. Come here, baby. What's the matter? Come here. You want to say hi? Say hi. Oops, sorry. Say hi. Say my face is dirty because of my new food, but I love my new food, so I won't give it up. Say hi. My name's Marshmallow. My name's Marshmallow and I love my mama, right? Look, let them see how beautiful you are. No? Okay, you're fine. So anyway, it is, now he wants a treat. I'll give you a treat in just a minute, okay? No? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but the plant that I did get, first thing, I think you'll be able to guess what it was. It is this White Knight yes look at this white knight i went through all of them and this was the one that i felt needed to live with me at my house and so this is the one that i got <laughs> oh my goodness i can't believe i found this look how pretty she is oh i love her you know i'm just looking in her soil looking at the bottom leaves and she is beautiful Oh my goodness. There are two plants in here. Two or three. It looks like there's a little tiny baby plant that's right in between the two main plants. I am so excited about this. I really am. This is a beautiful plant. Oh, and you know, this leaf right here is very beautiful, but this one is my favorite. That's my favorite leaf. Look how pretty she is. Now, this one right here, I did have a small white wizard that I traded for with um, someone on Facebook Marketplace. I ended up giving that one to my mother-in-law because she saw this and she really liked it. And so I said, well, I have a whole nother plant. She wanted one of the little plants that are in the, that she saw was in the base. I didn't see it until just now, but um, I had another white wizard. And so I just ended up giving her that one. And so I will have this one. Well, these two, because there are two plants in here, but I'm not going to separate them. I've actually been consolidating my plants, so I'm not going to separate them. 
yay she's beautiful so home depot again if you're looking for a white wizard oh my goodness home depot for the win right <laughs> Now, if you look at this new leaf coming in, I don't know if that's just the way they come in, but it has a little bit of pink splatters on it. Let me see if I can get close enough for you to see it. It's kind of like too bright for you to see. Let me see if I turn my light down a little bit. You see that? It has some pink splatters on it. Just gorgeous. I love this plant. Oh, I'm so happy about her. And she, again, will not be living outside. She'll be next to my silver sword. <laughs> so now this was one of my alocasia wish, wish list plants. It's something that I always saw in pictures and I just really loved it. And so, of course, you'll know the one that I'm talking about from the video. So here is my alocasia longloba. This is the other plant that I purchased. I have had my sights set on this beauty for so long. <laughs> okay, just so long. I am in love with this plant. Oh, look at her. She is beautiful. She does have a lot of damage. This was the only one that they had. The plant rep was there and she told me that this was the only one available and there's nothing else. Like there was nothing else on a truck or anything like that. And um, she also told me to try the flagship store, which is the one that I normally go to where I um, brought you in and I saw the White Wizard, which is where I got that one. This was at a different location. It's a much smaller store. So normally they have the very basic plants there, like a lot of um, pothos plants and things like that. But this time, they're the one that had the specialty plant. And when I tell you there was no way I could leave this thing behind, I promise you I couldn't. And it was a really nice thing because when I went in, I asked them if they could discount it because I'm going to show you the amount of leaves that were good that I had to cut off. So these were the additional leaves. The bottom part of this was obviously ripped off and then this one right here has a heavy damage but the the uh, stems themselves were broken in half and they were just hanging off and so I had to take them off. They uh, would never ever recover and so I just have them in a vase because I can still enjoy them as long as they're going to be in here. So these had to come off. And then I also had to take off three additional that were just yellow and they would not make it. But I am still left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves on that plant. So I'm not sad about it. I'm really excited. I just, I haven't done anything to her. All I did was um, cut the leaves that were spent. I just cut those off and then I just sprinkled a little bit of sugar not sugar, <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon in the soil, just in on the spots that were going to be open and just to protect those areas from disease. And look at this top leaf. This looks like this leaf is, this one right here is so incredibly straight. That's a big leaf. That's really a big leaf because I have a great big head and that leaf is beautiful. I can't believe I have this plant. I'm not going to change her soil right away. I'm definitely not going to do that. I did take her out of her pot, not out of her pot, but out of her cover pot. That's just a bunch of cinnamon, but um, she definitely needs to be repotted, but I'm going to give her at least her two weeks that she's going to be separated from the rest of my collection. I'm going to give her that two weeks and I'm going to let her acclimate to my home. And it's after that, that I will, when I see that she's fine and she's doing well in my home, then I will change her pot and give her some better soil and see what's happening from there. I already see a couple of corms on the top. They look a little bit dry, but I already see corms. Oh, wow, no, can you imagine? There are tons of corms on the top of this pot. They're just all over the place. I kind of want them to stay in here. I wouldn't mind it if this had a whole bunch of babies just growing in it. Maybe if I get a couple of babies, I'll be able to share them. But I'm, wow. I'm just going through the top soil and there's a lot. There are a lot of babies. There are a lot of babies in here. So yes, I'm excited about this. I would love for this to have lots of babies, just like my um, stingray. I would love for this one to be like my stingray. So that is what I hold for today from the Home Depot, my Home Depot shopping trip. And I'm really happy about it. I was not expecting to find these two plants at all. I just really wanted to bring you around and show you exactly what I see when 
I go to um, some of the stores that I see here and I only went to two today but so I really didn't expect to see any of these plants when I went in there I saw so many plants that I wanted I'm really proud of myself for not just giving in to purchasing all the plants that I wanted but I didn't have place for them so I'm not going to purchase anything I don't have place for or if I don't plan on getting rid of another plant that will not getting rid of because it's not that I'm getting rid of I'm rehoming another plant so that I can bring another one in because I have to re be reasonable I already have a whole bunch of plants out in my yard that I know I'm going to have to share with somebody or find a new home for when the fall comes because I have right now two fiddle leaf figs in my dining area but then I have three fiddle leaf figs outside in there. All three of them are growing so much. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. If I can turn them all into one big plant, I would love that. But in the event that I can't, they have to be rehomed. I won't let them just like, you know, die out there or anything like that. So yes, I'm excited. I'm really happy about this. I am working on a video that I am going to be sharing with you and it's going to be updating you on my pest control system because I have noticed that since I got my peace lilies and my one other plant that needs a lot of moisture, I have noticed a lot of gnats. I've noticed gnats. Like I'll say every day now I see gnats in my house, whereas before that wasn't the case. And I, when I looked at one of my cover pots for my peace lilies, I noticed that there were a lot of gnats in the soil. The reason why I'm not seeing them so much in the air is, is because of these things. I looked in here and I just said, I didn't know I had gnats like this. I never had gnats like this. Like I would put in the beginning when I got rid of all of my gnats, I put the little sticky, yellow sticky things out and I didn't have, there was nothing on them. I didn't have gnats like that. It was just every once in a while I would see a gnat, but then I would be able to watch and search to see what would, where they were going. And now I do know where they're going. They're going straight to my peace lilies, but now it's getting to a point where they're finding other homes. And so I'm going to have to um, just show, I just want to show you exactly what I do to keep the gnats away. And then, but this right here, I am so happy I have this. These things work so well. They are from Co-Kit. I shared one of these as a prize. And then this is another one that has a bug and a, a gnat control. <clears throat> It says mosquitoes or bugs on the top. So you have the option of one of those and it still has the same light in. I guess the draw is a little bit different so that it attracts bugs. And we did have a house fly in our house and it was in here. So yeah, this is awesome. And then the cleanup is so clean because it's just a sticky pad at the bottom. And I can honestly tell you, I was shocked when I saw what was in this thing. These things, I will never go without them <laughs> because it tells, I have too many plants. I don't want to have a bunch of gnats, but from the amount of gnats that I saw kind of moving around in the cover pot of my peace lily, I said, wow, I would never think that this thing had anything like this. But then I looked in here and I said, this is where they are. At nighttime, they suck them right in. So yay to CoKit. Thank you again for sharing this with me. And the discount code is still available, I think, until the 6th of the month, of this month, May. No, June. We're in June now. I believe it's until June 6th that the discount code is still available. These are definitely a keeper for me because I don't like gnats. But again, watch out for the video that I have on sharing with you exactly how I'm able to get rid of them all together and then I'll have these as my backup to keep them away. I hope you come back for that video. So this is the end. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate you spending your time with me. I know you have a busy life and you spent time with me and I appreciate you. I look forward to talking to you again in a future video and until then, please stay safe and have a happy plant day. Bye guys. <laughs>